All right, week number two, arm day. Quick description, I'm in the same outfit as I was for back day two days ago, um, if you did them in order. But that's okay, I had to do a double day today. I said it in the video, I did not do any cardio. Um, my schedule is all messed up. So anyway, you guys are going to do a little warm up with me in the beginning, skip through. It's about three minutes of a warm up. You can skip through if you want. Um, you don't have to do the warm up if you're already warmed up and you can go right to the workout. The working set of workouts, you're gonna need a set of dumbbells. I have a set of 10s, 12s, and 15s here. Um, no bands, just dumbbells. So you can grab some cans, you can grab whatever dumbbells that you have. If you're at the gym, you won't need anything but dumbbells. All right, so you're gonna go, we're gonna do a little number series here again. So we did twos the other day. Today's we're doing fours. Okay, so we're gonna do kickbacks here. Starting off with a little bit of triceps, kickback. So we're gonna go four kickbacks and then four alternating front raises. Take them off to your side here, one. That's why you're gonna grab a lighter weight than you probably could do for your kickbacks. Some people don't like front raises. If you can't do front raises, that's okay. Just do some quarter laterals. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that if you don't like front raises. Um, and then you're gonna do 10 of those. And the next one gets real spicy, gets our heart rate up, and it stays up almost the entire rest of the workout. If you guys need to modify and slow down, feel free to do so. Um, I kicked my own butt today, it was really good. Uh, you're gonna do a burpee and then close grip push ups for two. Okay, so you're gonna do one burpee. So you're gonna start here, you're gonna start here, and you're gonna do two push ups. One, two, oh, my arms are too sore, I'm not doing anymore. And then you're gonna stand up. Do a burpee, one, okay, all the way to 10. If you have to do them on a chair, that's okay, or an elevated surface, just gonna come, do your burpee, burpee, up, up, that's one. And then you can do your close grip push-ups, okay? You can do them on a chair, you can even do an incline, or if you have the bench on a bench, do incline close grip push-ups, and then do your modified burpees. If you can't do burpees at all, and you're doing push-ups on the wall, or you're doing a modified push-up, that's okay. You can do your modified push-up on the wall. These are close grips, so they're working your triceps a little bit more. You did chest yesterday. Um, you're gonna come here, make sure there's tension here. Squeeze your core, so you're gonna squeeze your belly button right to your spine, be aware of your core. You're gonna push here. Okay, it's real easy to just to do this. Okay, but make sure you're here, push, push, okay? And then you can do two of those, and then just do a jumping jack, or a side, side, push, push, side, side, okay? But you guys that can do the burpees and the cold scripts, do them with me. All right, we're gonna do 10 of those, and then you can rest if you need to, but the prescribed exercise is abs. We did them the other day too, um, as an option exercise, which that's where you're gonna come here, squeeze, I told you we would do that again. Squeeze, squeeze, open up that rib cage. Squeeze, okay, so you're squeezing this rib to this hip bone. Boom, boom, open it up each time, okay? Uh, for 20, do you do that two times? Circuit number three, um, you're gonna grab a set of dumbbells, moderate-ish. You're gonna do alternating cross rows. So you're gonna come here in front of you. One, two, flat curl. One, two, pronated press, okay? One, two, so it's for your shoulders. So one, two, flat, one, two, you get a, you work your biceps off that stretch, so stretch it all the way up, all the way down. Bring it up for the next exercise, pronated press, your palms are facing you, it's for the front part of your shoulders. Up, you're gonna feel that in your triceps a little bit, up, because it's arm day. You're gonna do that 10 times, okay? And then you are going to grab a lighter weight and do static hold with X outs or step outs. So static hold, you guys remember that last week where you held it like this and you did one and the other. You're gonna hold it up just like this and you're gonna do X outs. You wanna keep your core nice and tight. Jesse did a little bit of something like this in chest day. Okay, here, one, two, three, four. If you can't do that, you're gonna hold that static hold and you're gonna one, two, three, four. So if jumping's not your thing, and you wanna spice it up, you can put the band around your legs, the cloth exercise band. Um, so you do that for 20, and then keep your weights, and you're gonna do a squatted punch through. One, two, three, four, everything. Keep your core nice and tight. If you can't do a squatted punch through, just do them like this. One, two, don't squat, okay, for 20. And then we do it again. Last and final circuit is dumbbells. You're gonna do close, grip punch outs. So you're here, one, two. Again, don't let your body swing all over, so grab a light weight if you need to. One, two, and then two hammer curls, straight hammer curls, one, two, and then you're going to, this is why you're gonna want a lighter weight, because you're going overhead tricep extensions. Here, 
take it over your head. One, two. So I'm touching my shoulder when I come down. One, two, just like that. If you can't go that far, that's okay. Do what you can, but that's why you're gonna need a lighter weight. You have 10 of those. It's really, really spicy. And then you're gonna take it to the floor. No weight for the next three exercises. You're gonna go into that, to that bear hold, like a bear crawl, but you're gonna do your donkey kick. So this, your arms are so fatigued, you're gonna keep your hands underneath your shoulders, okay? And you're gonna feel that, and this working side here is the quad, the one that's holding it, it's that static hold again. But then you're working this glute here, okay? So you're coming down, looks just like this. Kick up, one, bring it in to your chest. Okay, just like so, you're alternating for 20. Ooh, my sinuses are messed up, messed up so that really drains them. All right, so you're gonna go 20 of those, and then you're gonna do 10 close grip push-ups again if you want. A lot of close grip push-ups today, a lot of triceps, they're probably really, really spent. So if you want to, you can skip that part and just do some abs, do some bird dogs, do something, and then you're gonna do the final exercise, glute bridge press outs. We're giving our arms a break for a second. Okay, keep your feet together for these ones. Put the band around your legs if you want to. You can do that for donkey kicks too if you'd like. Um, here, you're gonna press, squeeze up at the top and then out, slight out and back down. Squeeze, out, squeeze, out for 20. We did that two times around and then we did a little pull down as we did on the other videos. So they're a little bit longer so you can feel free to skip past the beginning of the workouts if you don't wanna do the warm up about two and a half, three-ish minutes. Um, and then you can cut it off for the cool down if you're gonna go do cardio or whatever. Um, today is a day if you have not done it and you guys are participating and you wanna do any sit training, the sprint intervals, that would be today, would be a fantastic day. You could schedule that in 10 minutes long, um, get two to five sprint intervals. I've explained that a million times. If you need more explanation, let me know. But today would be a wonderful day for that. Um, and if you feel like doing pull-ups today, you could. Um, I don't know if I would do deadlifts today because you just did back and stuff like that the other day, uh, but you can. So pull-ups and sprint intervals, one or the other would be a great day for today. So that's it. Have a great workout. Don't forget to check in. Um, that's it. So have a great day. Have a great workout. Love you.